Imagine a tough, plantable container that looks and feels like stone, but you make it yourself in any shape and size you want to. All you need is some molds. I'm going to make a bird bath out of a trash can. We'll make a square planter with a cardboard box. All you need, plastic bags, the correct ingredients, sand, Portland cement, and peat moss. We start by mixing the dry ingredients together. Two parts peat moss, one part cement, one part sand. Once you've got the dry ingredients thoroughly mixed, it's time to add water. Add it a little at a time. Our goal here is to make a thick, lumpy paste. When you've got it almost ready, you've got to prepare your molds. Now, to make sure that you don't make a too big a mess on anything, invest in some plastic trash bags. You're going to cover all of your molds and your work surfaces with plastic bags. We want to cover the box to form our mold. And this one will actually have a drain hole in it, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. We're also going to make an in-ground bird bath by using our trash can cover. But now it's time to get into the bread kneading aspect of making tufa. We've got to make sure it's a thick, lumpy paste that we're working with. And I've gotten some disposable gloves. This is to protect your hands from the cement, from the Portland cement in the mixture. Now at this point, we want to just trickle in a little bit more water. We're looking for a thick, lumpy paste. And it's remarkable how much you can change the consistency of this material just by adding a little bit more water. Once you've got it to a, what, what I would call a thick, lumpy paste, then we're going to take it and shovel it right into our mold. And by the way, this is a great project to involve the kids with. I mean, think about it. We're making mud pies. It hardens up into a useful container. What could be better? What kid would not enjoy making this? I'm having a good time. Once you've got it in the mold, press it around and smooth it out. In this case, where we're using making a bird bath, we're going to see this inside surface. When we get to making a planter over the box, we'll be seeing the outside surface. So how smooth you make it is up to you. We want about a two inch thick layer of material in here. And make sure the edges are good and firm. To make it really smooth, just moisten your gloved hand and smooth out the inside of the mold. Again, we're looking for a uniform thickness of about two inches. And don't be in a hurry, you've got plenty of time before this begins to set. Once you've got a nice two inch layer of tufa around your forms, it's time to put a drain hole in the bottom of your pot. Now, of course, you're not going to put a drain hole in your bird bath, but in the pot, it's a simple matter right now to poke a hole with a dowel rod and just leave it in place. Press it all the way down to the mold, leave it there. You can decorate your tufa containers in any way you want. You can use gravel, rocks, you could use uh, seashells, sand dollars, even marbles. Remember, this is a great project to involve the kids. It's a simple thing. We're going to mix 50% peat moss, 25% sand or vermiculite, and 25% Portland cement. The next thing we need to do is let the mold sit in a shady, cool place for four or five days so that it cures. After a few days of curing in a shaded spot, our Tufa in-ground bird bath is ready to go. And it looks like ancient stone. The planter box looks pretty neat too. We pull the plug out for the drain hole and flip it over. If this were made of concrete, I couldn't lift this this easily. This is really lightweight stuff. And it turns out a product that looks a lot like old stone. Finishing it up with a wire brush can make it look even better. Removing the mold, not difficult at all. It pulls right out of there. Remember, this was just a cardboard box in a plastic bag. We've got a planter with a drain hole ready to go. This is great in the great outdoors. <laughs>